Hi, Leo. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Leo, sun, moon, or rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Leo and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there and that way you'll always get an email notification every time my availability opens up. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you have supported the channel. And let's dive in. Okay. All right. Well, let's dive into your freaking six cards. Okay. So, Leo. I'm gonna hunt. Um, so, the first one here, we have the healer. Okay, trying to bring in some maybe like split aspects of yourself. I always read this card really crazily because see the three snake heads. Um, sometimes I see that as like the rescuer, victim, perpetrator dynamic. Um, or I could three is such a significant number in everything. So it's really applicable in your situation. Somehow there could be happening or healing happening between three people. Um, something about the three, it's like that's taking place somehow here. And we have the mask. You, I feel as though in some type of a situation, like someone's not truly revealing how they really feel, you know, like, or there even could a, be a person in the situation that there's tons of shade, like shadow underneath there, the way that they operate, but on the surface, they seem like all golden and, and amazing, or it's definitely something about the surface and what's underneath, okay? We have the castle. Somehow, I wonder if this is connected to, like, home or finances, or even, like, structures and family and all this stuff. Like, there even could be something here about inheritance, if that's the case. And then we have the vessel. Um, and then we have the emperor. Wisdom, stable, rational, masculine influence. This is an authoritative figure. This could be a father figure or a boss or someone like that. And then we've got the magician, okay? Strong willpower. This is a very magnetic, persuasive person. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And look how it's coming in. <laughs> right now. I'm switching these around, okay? So. Leo. Um, all right. What is this? Um, I'm not gonna lie, like this, the castle in this situation with the magician and the mask, it could be a person or a situation that, like, there's definitely something about money means something to this person, or even appearances, or, or you know what I mean? Like, it could be in the shadow way of greed or materialism, that could be the case, but... This person cares a lot about appearances, is what I'm picking up on, okay? Um, turned right out. Okay. <laughs> Seven of Swords is the very first one that popped right out. All right. And I'm not going to lie, I am going to put it with the Seven of Swords, or the Mask energy, okay? So, just give me a second. Let me see whatever, what else wants to come out. That's interesting. See, this is why tarot trips me out. Because I looked at the bottom of the deck and I the king of pentacles was there. So I am going to go ahead and take that. Okay, there's the moon. Um, we have, yeah, I'll start kind of pulling from this. Well, there's the eight of swords. Okay. Oh, there's a tower coming. It's interesting that I said that. Um, so, we have the 
Eight of Swords. I'm going to take that next since it was like in this progression. And then we have the Four of Pentacles, which I feel matches that castle energy with the King of Pentacles and the Tower. Okay. Um, Leo, you could be dealing with an Earth sign. It's possible. But here's what I think is happening. Okay. Um... I feel as though if you are dealing with some type of, like, if there's a father energy or, like, a king of pentacles, um, there is a lot of, like, saving or, like, being frugal. Definitely. <laughs> king of pentacles can totally be like that. So there could be this energy here. Um, the seven of swords could be a deceptive energy. Um, someone that... There could have been deception, or it could have just been, like, someone that, like, snuck away from a situation, and they feel trapped, or this could be someone that, this is lies and deceit, so, there was a tower moment that came up, though. And I feel like it's the energy, it broke this apart, because we have the moon and the reverie. Yeah, I feel like someone here is, like, not who they say they are, or, and it could be kind of like the mask is coming off, because we have the reverie down at the bottom, and the reverie is like this, it's like a daydreamy energy, and in this specific scenario, I'm not totally sure how I feel about it. Because to me, kind of what I pick up in general from this is that there's a person in this situation that um, it's it's definitely about appearances to them. But what's underneath the surface, like, and this is what I've been seeing a lot lately, like, this could be a person that's all about their physical image and, and really into that. But what's underneath the surface, like, if 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 this is going to the extent of narcissism, for example then it's something about like underneath the surface there's something off there's some wires that have been crossed electrically <laughs> and that's what we're dealing a lot with lately because the moon is subconscious stuff and you'll see it by tower moments i feel like you guys there's something here about things have been definitely like the tower moment is something unexpected that happened and it's in connection here with the healing process someone is having to go through the healing and with the vessel i feel like what's happening is in some type of a situation you're trying to or someone is trying to heal i don't know if it's you or someone else in the environment because there are definitely multiple people popping out in this reading and so it could be that you're trying to heal but certain um influences in the environment are making it challenging to do so because the emperor is like rigid this is how it is and the magician i feel like is trying to be persuasive you know but seven of swords is also self-deception it's kind of like that i kind of get this sense that right now you could be going through a bit of a reality check of like that you're seeing the reality of something like for a while you had just kind of like covered it up and and you're not really wanting to expose it or maybe even come out about it and so there's something here about like, the seven of swords could be straight up self-deception and for some reason you feel trapped and it also could be affecting your finances like seriously this is why i talk about the way that it, at the quantum level, it bleeds into every other area of your life. So you can start to see that it does affect your finances. And that's when you know something's going on with health or something that needs to be healed in a situation. Because once that goes down, then you know something's going on in down at the quantum level in your organs you know like that's why i especially talk about gut issues because it's like oh, don't even get me started i'm getting the worst images lately about this whole thing i, I can't even 
Look, the self-deception really, honestly, if I'm going to get really real with you guys, is about like certain foods that we've been ingesting. And that, to be honest, like, I don't even want to say the amount of words that I have been coming to me that aren't even in my vocabulary, but just that, I mean, the amount of people that I have come across that have gut issues is crazy to me. And I just feel like a part of this awakening that humans are going through in general is just all about like this healing process that we have to confront about things that we're ingesting that aren't meant to be in the human body. They're not meant to. And so it's manifesting in two different ways. It's either manifesting as like artificial intelligence, you know, like narcissism and artificial intelligence, or it's actually manifesting in health breakdowns and health issues in a multitude of ways that those come in. And that's honestly what I feel like is, that's why I was saying like, this is a grounded, realistic take on things. King of Pentacles is very health oriented committed has a routine balanced i feel like right now in this energy you're trying to trying to conjure up something different with the reverie card you're trying to kind of um pull in a different reality as you're dealing with this other situation and it but in this energy like you can manifest things. The magician is a powerful energy at any time. You don't have to have things completely perfect with your health to manifest stuff. You can do it at any time. That's how powerful your mind and your brain chemicals are and how you're connected to the universe. But at the same time, I almost feel like some of the trauma or turning a blind eye to something that you don't want to face or someone else in your reality. I don't know if it's you or someone else because this reverie could be like a daydreamy, like trying to escape the situation and go into kind of a different realm or a different reality to kind of like try to deal with what's going on in this situation. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I know that's like not the most, oh, this is the most positive reading ever. The good thing is it is ending in a nine of cups situation, which is a wish fulfillment. It's just, I think that you're going to like pretty much the tower will come in and expose everything that you've been deceptive with yourself about anything. It's not enjoyable. Seriously, guys, tiny little things you start to get a reality check about and i think that's what's this tower moment it either recently exposed it or it's going to so the door we have this bless this space your sacred space holds the soul to bear palo santo or sage will clear the air yeah i feel like you guys it's something connected to home and your space and having a, the vessel and the home it to me it's talking a lot about your environment and making it like everything about it needs to be a container for healing because something things keep coming in that are kind of like getting in the way of the healing process and I think that's what you're continuing to see in some way shape or form it's either it's either you or someone around you that's why I was saying there's like possibly three elements to this or three people or there's different people that are connected to this whole thing so Leo god sorry if that does not resonate for you guys but if it does, you can go ahead and join me in the extended. Just go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see it over there. But Leo, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.